Hey, good morning. I'm out on my walk and I'm following up from yesterday's video where I talked about Defender for Endpoint and being able to isolate a device. Today I want to show you how to do that automatically using Power Automate. And so I built a Power Automate flow here. Let's take a look at it. The Power Automate flow actually is receiving a trigger from uh, Defender for Endpoint. So you can just go in and do a search for triggers, type in Defender, and you'll see this. And so I'm actually just saying anytime an alert is received, make that a trigger. And so then after that, I'm creating an action to go and get the details of that alert. And so that's the next step. And then I'm creating a condition. Now that condition says only isolate the machine if it's, an inf if it's a high severity. So that way, if it's an informational severity uh, or even low, that we don't isolate the machine and do something we don't want to do. Now, of course, this could be adjusted. And then when I go to set the action of isolate a machine, I just have to tell it the machine ID, and we're getting the machine ID from the alert, from the previous action there. And I'm also setting some comments around the details of the alert. Now, below that, you can see that I'm sending myself, or as an example, it could be the IT administrator, a instant message, a chat message on Microsoft Teams. And in that chat message, I am specifying details of the alert, what happened, and I'm also letting it know that, hey, it automatically isolated this device. So that's really it for this Power Automate. Now, of course, this is a very high level. If this was production, I may want to add some additional logic around this. So maybe we have a wait period and then we unisolate the machine. Uh, maybe we do some checks on device risk and then unisolate, there could be some different things we might want to add to the rest of this Power Automate. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I would really like to know, are you using this in production? Have you even used this in your lab and just tested it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're a Microsoft partner, I would love to hear about your thoughts on how you consult and advise your clients on something like this and how you account for it in your design of Defender for Endpoint. All right, everyone. Well, I got to start my day here, so I got to head home. Hope you have a great rest of the day yourself, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.